Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to apply a few layers of paints to transform my Mattel Origins Castle Grayscale from this almost bright green motif to one with a color and tone that I personally feel how this centerpiece of any Motu collection should look like. Also, I hope this video will encourage you who wants to customize your castle to just go ahead and do it. It really is not that hard and I finished this within 6 hours. No kidding. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, I selected one shade of green from my Pantone color guide. This green basically dictates how the final castle is going to look like. So I took my time to look at all the shades to decide which is the one I was going to use. Then I sprayed the entire castle front and back with this base layer of green and let it dry. I then selected the lightest green which had a shade of yellow as my highlighting color and started to apply this by airbrush on mostly the raised and center of each prominent section of the castle. You can see that what results is looking like white, but it isn't. You must never directly apply white as a highlighting color. Rather, the lightest shade of your base color would bring out the most natural highlight. Do not be afraid to experiment with the shade if you can't see the highlights, your color is not light enough. If it comes out too white, you should darken it. So I was having a hard time filming the spraying in the room and decided to bring the castle to the spray area in the factory to apply the rest of the highlighting. The next thing I did is to use the base green color, added black to darken it, then airbrush this color into the crevices and recess areas of the castles to add shadowing or what most in the skill model community would call post shading. You can see how the highlighting initially brought out the raised parts of the castle and this shadowing really adds the depth. I then selected a brownish wood color and mask off the areas as shown before spraying. I then also used the darkest green that I used for the shadowing or post shading to go over the wooden parts of the castle to give it some depth as well as on the main door of the castle. And I took the same color to lightly spray over the edges of the rocks and parts of the castle to help bring out that rusty look as the added highlights. Finally, I used a paintbrush and with silver paint went over the details on the door of the castle. Alright guys, so that's it. Um, my short presentation of this uh, castle grey skull. Basically, I've been waiting more than 30 years to get this done. Since a kid, I wanted castle grey skull, didn't have a chance to get it. But now, Mattel Origins gave us a chance, gave me a chance to own castle grey skull. So, I got working and you know, put on a base layer, another highlighting area, and some touch-up, some, uh, you know, effects. And there it is, there it is, guys. What do you think? What do you think? So I'm going to wrap this video up, uh, and then I will go back, do more touch-up. I'm going to add some oil, oil paints to it. This is the end of part one, and uh, I'll be back with part two, where I'll show you guys the oil painting effects. And then finally, of course, uh, I'm going to take some pictures of Castle Grayskull, along with putting some figures in as well. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thank you for watching. 
I appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you like this video, alright? Take care.